Hello, it's your favorite sports dunk here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the fastest growing community on YouTube. Remember, nightcap doesn't happen without you. So please subscribe or you're going to make Ocho cry. Tom Brady got roasted. They tore his ass up too. They, they got they got him good. You know what? I yeah. didn't I didn't get I didn't get a chance to see it. I saw a few clips on Twitter. Um, I'm sure you probably saw more than I did. I just yep. have one question. Yeah, I'm sure you're very familiar with the roast that I talked about earlier when we talked about yeah. roast as far as everything being a green light, especially back in those days where mm -hmm. nothing was really frowned upon and everything. And when I say everything was a green light, even the jokes that had a little bit of racist undertone, the watermelon mm -hmm. joke, the chicken jokes. Yeah. Was it anything like that or was it a, was it a PC roast? No, I wasn't no PC. They tore his ass up. Okay, and, I got could, I, and midway and probably from the very beginning, he realized yep. what the hell did I sign up for? Right, right, because right. Because you right. have to understand, look, a roast in and of itself, like even though we don't have cameras and all that, when right. we roast one another, we yes, at the barbershop, we had to we had to get together with the boys, right. we right. roasting, we bringing up shit. Oh yeah, you Sometimes have Sometimes roast, what do the roast lead to? A fight because you yeah. make it too personal. Uh-huh. Yeah, see yeah. now. So in that situation, Man, they bringing up stuff, man. Hey, hey, they brought up something about Mr. Kraft. He didn't seem too pressed. I think some uh, comedian said, hey, uh, I thought I was going to get a massage. Right. Make a reference to Mr. Kraft. Right. And Tom like, hey, don't say that ish again. So you can't Listen, you, you can't do that. Rule number one, when it comes to roasting, you do not interrupt the person roasting at all. Mm -hmm. You cannot interrupt the roast. That is the whole point of a roast, especially one of this magnitude with the with a polarizing figure like Tom Brady. You got to sit there and take it. Did they roast the relationship between Giselle and her trainer? Yeah. Like, oh, oh, they, oh they, they, they went there? Bro, that's a roast. Okay. I'm telling you, okay. that's when you've been around situations where guys yeah. just start out joking. We yeah. call it joning, call it roasting, right. whatever they call yeah. it be. Ranking. And it gets, too per it gets out of hand. It yeah. starts to get personal. It yeah. starts to trade into a situation. Mm. Oh, your girl, oh, your wife, oh, your oh, kid. Yeah. And oh, not yeah. wah, 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 wah. But in this situation, right. this is what you signed up for. Right. So, again, you have to be careful. Me, I, could I roast somebody? Absolutely. absolutely. Tear their ass up. Can you could take I it? get roasted? Oh, no. Oh, absolutely <laughs> not. Oh, I could never. Um, you, can't, you can't take no roasting? No. Because here's the thing. The guy that you're going to need to roast me, they know right. everything. Yeah. That's the point. <laughs> You get bucket, you get burns, you right. get some of the guys that that's been around me for thirty years. They yeah. know what all the bodies are buried. Right, 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 right. Nah, but call O'Shea down to tear somebody else's ass up. Oh, you gonna you gonna let him have it? Am I? <laughs> <laughs> the yeah, whole I, the whole nine yards. Yeah, I like I like it. I, I think obviously because of my personality, because I am, I'm pretty easy going. I could probably I could sit through a roast because I'm so I'm so used to jonesing or ranking, uh, whatever you call it, wherever you're from. I, I would I would I would enjoy that. I would if enjoy there's that. anything that you've done that uh -huh. you're not proud about, right? They're gonna bring that up. Oh, that that that's a part of roasting, Unc. I understand. I know that, that's you a part say, of roasting. You see, it's easy to say that until you under and it's, it's like it's like being in that chair uh -huh. in that interrogating room. Man, uh -huh. I ain't gonna tell them nothing. Right. And then they come in and they start throwing pictures. And they yeah. start talking about such and such. That, oh, yeah. oh, how you know about that? Oh, yeah. And they talk about, well, this is a, uh, uh, this is a murder. This mm -hmm. is a, a, a death sentence case. Right. This is right. a capital murder. Mm -hmm. You've seen the first 48 when oh, they yeah, in Memphis. Most definitely. When they this in first 48 lived in Liberty City. Oh, yes. I remember. Clear as day. Now they all of a sudden, they're talking about, that's a death. Hey, they're going to mm -hmm. put that needle in your arm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mama I know. not going to be able to hug you. Granny ain't going to be yeah. able to see you no more. Yeah. But you, you know what? When it, when it comes to me, Obviously, I think your life has been a little bit more private as as a, as opposed yeah. to mine. Everything I've done, I've always lived. I, I've always lived. I've always lived publicly. Always. So so my good my my goods were public, and my lows were public. You you, you understand yeah. where I'm going? Yeah. So I would never want to hide behind uh, social media or or a tuck my tail. When right. I made my when I made my mistakes, yeah. I made it with my head high. I took mm -hmm. responsibility. And just and and went on about my day trying to recover and do all the right things right. to right my wrongs, if if, right. if I might say. So that's why oh, yeah, I say sure. someone like someone like myself, if it came to a roast, I can take that because I, I've I've had the brunt of the bad in front of the world. Right. 
front of the world. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, would, it wouldn't be no issue. Yeah, see, for me, um, like when when my boys we joining, yeah, it's all I don't even, I don't even, I don't, they, yeah. they say stuff. It don't it, even bother it, me. That's a small crowd people, though. That's a small but see, that's crowd. Thing, but see, now you're talking about people that you don't know and you don't mm -hmm. have a personal relationship. Relationship with, with. right, right. Joning yeah. or roast or roasting. Right. That's what you know. Hey, you and I, we go back and forth with each other, but yeah. you and I have a personal relationship. I right. wouldn't dare let somebody say some of the things that what you be talking, how you be talking. Oh no. <laughs> Mm -mm, mm -mm. Hell uh, to the now. Right. But that's but see, that's the whole point of having a roast. Because mm -hmm. now you're getting people, but in a roast, a lot of times they start off. That's what they do. These are comedians. Mm -hmm. Like the first 10, 15 guys that roast your ass, they've been doing this 10, 15, 30 Many years. years. Yeah. You had the Carol Burnett, you had the Don Rickles, you mm -hmm. had the Rodney Dangerfields, mm -hmm. you had the Flip Wilson, the Richard Pryor. Yeah. All those mm -hmm. would let you have it. Big time. Hey, what, what's what's old girl? What's what's um Esther John from Rivers. Tampa and the Sun? What's her regular oh, name? Lawanda Page. Oh my goodness, boy! <laughs> hey, but she was so funny on that goddamn roast with uh with Dean Martin, man. Dean Martin. It, oh, that you classic. know they got tapes. They got tapes with Dean Martin. You could get like twenty tapes. Yeah. Of, of celebrity roast. Roast. Where they yeah. like where they lighting people up. Every everybody. Yeah. Now. I'm and like I said, going to an HBCU. Uh -huh. If you can't join, you can't roast. You I don't ain't gonna know survive. how you make it. You ain't gonna survive. I don't know how you make it. Yeah. And we survive. just to have the roasts, like we just go to each other's room and we just mm -hmm. join each other. I'm talking about joining. <laughs> I'm talking about, oh yeah. Uh yeah. As, as a matter of fact, my old teammate Red Grant. Mm -hmm. Um, I saw him wait, last night at, at wait, comedian Red Grant? Yeah, he was on my, he's on the team at Savannah State. Position red. What, what position red play? Fullback. Wait, he must have been fat back then. Red small. Yeah, he was a fullback. Hell, everybody oh, was small thirty five years ago. <laughs> hey, man, I see. Listen, back. I, I, I hate to change the subject. I used to watch Red Grant at the Laugh Factory way back when I was in LA. Way back then, when D. Ray Davis used to host some time. That's how long I've been watching Red Grant. Yeah. Damn, that's dope. We used to have talent shows. Red, another dude named uh, his name was uh, Bernard Mack. Uh huh. And they would do comedy. Uh, this other dude named Eugene Brantley, they would have wrestling matches. I mean, and so the wrestling. ladies would come up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. So we had real live talent. The girls, I mean, they could really, really sing. Right. Got, oh, man. It was, it was unbelievable. But when it came to that Joni, yeah, different ball game. You the whole shape. You know, she kept the fade of the chain. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, but like you said, things that you could get away back, back then. Oh, it ain't over. Oh, now. you getting canceled today. Oh, no. It oh, you can you getting canceled today. Right. Because we were ripping them. But that's where we are now. And you adapt. I still can get them off, though. You know, I can still get the jokes off. Mm -hmm. That's right. my thing. Uh, so, Giselle, Bob Kraft, uh, Nikki Glazer with some crazy Aaron Hernandez jokes. Who knew uh, Drew Bledsoe was funny? They booed yeah. Kim Kardashian. Even Coach Belichick got involved. Wait, so that's up there? Yeah, Coach Belichick came on that thing. Was he funny? Dressed like an encyclopedia salesman. But he was... <laughs> <laughs> but he was there. He was there. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, man, yeah. But the roast... Hey, everybody, everybody, like I said, like comedians... Do really well in roles, yeah, because they know how to take it. It's they're in the environment. That's the that's, environment. They that's used to it. it. It's just like a football player. He knows how to take a hit. Mm -hmm. A wide receiver, a running back, they know how to take a hit. Right. The average person, you put him out there in some pass, say, okay, take this hit. You break your something. Something getting broke. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. you don't know how to give. You don't know how to fall. Mm -hmm. So, but everybody, you no, know, them, them, them roles ain't for everybody. Yeah, I got. Yeah, I got I got to watch that one. I'm obviously I'm not watching it tonight. As a matter of fact, I still think they're tearing his ass up. <laughs> Wait, it's still going on? Yeah. Okay. I got I'm, I'm gonna watch it. In, I'm gonna watch it in the morning. I got actually I ain't the night ain't, ain't happening. Yeah, it's gonna be going on, but uh, it was good. Like I said, I think Tom he probably like once that initial burn right. got over, he like okay, yeah. but you know he was sitting there like. Mm. That sounded like a good idea at the time. 
this is now, terrible now why you in it and it's too late now once it's gone once it's gone it's too late then you came back out yeah you ever you ever know on show on show somebody asks you to do something and you like yeah yeah and uh -huh. then when it comes time for you to do it you're like man why the hell i say yeah mm -hmm. i know damn well i wasn't gonna want to do this right it happens all the time I, mm -hmm. uh, and then you get stuck but it is what it is but uh he he, he it's uh He's doing the best he can with it. I know that Giselle stuff, it stings. You think so? To hear about your old lady was seeing, bro, you Tom Brady. The yeah. greater the person, the greater ego. You know how that worked. And yeah. to know somebody potentially was with her while you, but man, stop it, Ocho. Yeah. Listen, <laughs> you, and you, you listen, you've, you've always said it before. What did you say about expectations? Yeah. If you learn to manage your expectations, Ain't you no managing be, no expectations you, you, yeah. when I got when I've been in a marriage for 10 years and two kids. Ain't no managing no expectations. Shit. All right. Um, you done you done been you done been around long enough now. You done been around you you done been around long enough. You understand and you know women. You done been around you come on now. Ring ring on the, ring on the finger, relationship, title. Come on now. So let me ask you a question. Let's just say for the sake of argument, you marry. Yes, sir. Have a baby. You have a baby. Yes, sir. And then you know. Baby need blood or something. Ah, you ain't a match. Ah, are you managing expectations? Ooh, now that, that you under that, the assumption that's hey, your kid. That, ain't that's, no managing hey, no expectations in no that, marriage. That's a different maybe ball in game, a relationship. Boy. Maybe a we whole, dating. Yeah. I should manage my expectations. Oh, Joe, yeah. I done threw all my expectations they out, the, out window. the window. They out I'm the window. I'm all in with your ass. Yes, sir. Hey, <laughs> hey, please. Hey, that little Maury, that little Maury analogy you just gave yeah. me right there. And I, you, I, we done, we done seen it happen over the years. To four month old Marquise, you yeah. are not, not the father. <laughs> Man, I'm going to tear up that hospital. I ain't going to even lie. <laughs> Man, I'm going to tear, hey. Oh. I'm going to tear that hospital up. Yeah. I'm, listen, I'm, I'm with you when you're right. I'm with you when you're right. But there, there just been so many, so many situations. And what I, I always think to myself is I try to be realistic. I, I even... In, in in all situations and 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 put things into into logical terms, you know, and understanding that human error is inevitable. Uh, we all try to strive for perfection in all that we do, and many of us continue to always fall at times by the wayside, no matter how perfect we try to be. Yeah, and I, I always keep that way, 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 way in the back of my head, all the way in the back. Way back, just just with, with understanding that as as great as individuals try to be as partners, at times they make mistakes. At even times with they do. That, so, Ocho, even with that minor, mm -hmm. the fact that you've been in this relationship and mm -hmm. you're thinking For so long, yeah, and you right, right and you right. like, how could it be, be because yeah. she's with me mm -hmm. or she's at working, mm -hmm. but she's found a way to deceive me for the period. Yeah. Even if it, mm -hmm. even if it's only for thirty minutes, even mm -hmm. if it's only for an hour, uh, yeah. let alone. And here's the thing that gets mm -hmm. a, a man mm -hmm. when the woman steps out on him in the relationship, mm -hmm. right. because in order for that woman to leave, step out of that man, she mm -hmm. feels something. Yeah. You yeah. see, unless a woman, unless a woman is a prostitute, she can't right, distinguish right. fuck from feeling. No, 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 no. Not so not there is an attachment to that guy. An emotional, there is a, e yes, emotional attachment at that. A guy. When they say a guy will hit a snake, if you yeah. hold a head, yeah. he'll hit the wood pile that the snake in if he thought he was in there. That's yes, how sir. disattached they are with yes, that sir. situation. Very, very, very but much for so. A fee for a woman mm -hmm. to have a sexual relationship with a man mm -hmm. and she's in a relationship or yeah. she's married. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. and that's what get it. Because you know, mm -hmm. you know you've been there. Yeah. Yeah. Man. yeah. Think, about, think, think about this. And obviously, You've been a part of that circle, the elite, part of the 1%. You've heard the stories. You've heard the countless stories yes. of these situations happening over and over and over. And one thing, I mean, pertaining, one thing I've never done throughout the years and anyone I was dealing with, I never thought I was that big of a person where it can't happen to me. Oh, no. Ever, mm -mm. ever, ever, Hell ever, no. ever. And, I, and one thing I've never done is I never put anything past anyone, no matter who it was, no matter how much I love them. Never put anything past anyone. Human error is inevitable. Yeah. Inevitable. 
Kavir. And that's just that's just the way I've always lived. And that mindset has always saved me from being hurt. Disappointed, yes. Disappointment, yes. Being hurt, no. Because here's the thing. See, women are not impulsive. Men are impulsive. Yes, sir. See, a woman's going to plan it. Oh, yeah, it's strategic. strategic. She's going to call her girlfriends. Mm -hmm. Hey, we're at the mall. Go mm -hmm. buy me something from Victoria's Secret. Yes, now, she's going to buy what? She gonna meet up with a girlfriend, get mm -hmm. it, put that on for you. But mm -hmm. old dude done knock the boots off her. Ah, come on now. Yeah, talk, now on, you talk, found man. that out mm. because she planned it. Mm -hmm. Called premeditation. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. See, they, women they, are not impulsive. Listen, women they, are not impulsive. See, a guy go out to the steps ahead. They three steps ahead always. Because women are like cats. Mm -hmm. See, a cat can sneak up on you and rub on you. Like, where the hell you come from? You will hear a dog. <laughs> a dog will come. You hear his feet on the floor, or you yeah. hear him panting. Oh yeah, can't sneak up on you, rub on you. Like, mm -hmm. Where you come from? Mm -hmm. So she done planned it. Yeah, yeah, did all but that. You, but and then when what? you find out, then mm -hmm. you find out. Yeah, but but you listen. One thing about it is, and I, I I can be honest. We family chat. When you've been on the other end of the spectrum, when you've been on the other end of the spectrum for so many years, and you were a part of the planning, mm -hmm. you get where I'm going. Stay, yeah. stay, stay, stay with me. When you are part of the planning that's being done, then mm -hmm. you're a little bit more seasoned. You're a little bit more seasoned mm -hmm. to understand yeah. that something ain't right. Oh yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to take you there without really going there. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Are you, are you picking up what I'm putting down? I picked it up. Okay. Stay with but, me now. But the chat understands. I mean, uh, I'm sure uh, the people in the chat. I mean, sometimes you know how guys are. Ain't nobody ever did this to me. I ain't Jeez. never did. Man, you the shit. one. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Somebody yeah, probably yeah. got up right now. <laughs> yeah, <all right. laughs> swinging from the chandelier while you talk about it ain't happening. <laughs> you up here talking to Ocho and I, and yeah. somebody got him hey. hip deep. But hey, that's hey, and that's the thing with a roast Ocho. So if people know that, yeah, all oh, your they, indiscretions, they, they, everything is out the bag. Yeah, man. So Tom Brady, a better man than me. Like I say, hey, one on one, the locker room, we with the boys. I'm the roast champ, man. Live. Oh, that thing gonna be aired. Oh no. Yeah. Mm mm.